When was the last time you noticed your breath? Public speaking can be nerve wracking for us all, so I'd like to join, I'd like for you all to join me as I lead you all in a breath exercise. So if everybody could sit tall, lengthen their spine, plant their feet to the ground, and close your eyes. And if you're not comfortable with closing your eyes, if you soften your gaze and look towards your knees, that is perfectly fine. Take a deep inhale through the nose to the clavicle and expand your belly and widen your ribs. And then exhale through the nose to reverse the process. Let's do that again. Take a deep inhale through the nose while expanding the belly and widening the ribs. And exhale through the nose to reverse the process. If everybody could take one more breath on their own time and open their eyes when you're done, then we will then we will proceed. By focusing on a long, deep breath, you're bringing yourself into the present moment, and that is what mindfulness is about. Imagine how every school day would be different if every morning started with this experience. We are the members of the Mindfulness and Human Development team, which brings together both students and faculty at Duke and UNC to study the impacts of a yoga program on students' well-being. Research shows that there are extensive physical and mental benefits to the practice of yoga. But currently, the majority of yoga practitioners are white, female, and college educated, with a mean age of 39 and a half. So our team was interested in making yoga more accessible to underserved students, especially here in North Carolina. This semester, our team is working on two related projects. Primarily, we analyze the effects of yoga and mindfulness in middle schools in the Triangle area. We've developed a research project with Yoga for Youth and four local middle school after school programs to um, analyze the effects of mindfulness work in students' behavior. We've, the students meet twice a week and data on the moods and attitudes is collected before and after each class. Additionally, we collect, we conduct focus groups and class observations to collect qualitative data on the students' experiences. An initial analysis of the data shows yoga's promise. One of the scales in particular that we collected throughout the semester was the DERS scale. Now the DERS scale measures students' difficulties in regulating their emotions. So naturally, a low, scale, a low number on the DERS scale is good. It means that students aren't struggling to regulate their emotions. As you can see here, we conducted the, the Dura scale both before and after the yoga intervention program. And what we found is that the students who participated in the yoga program had less difficulty in regulating their emotions compared to students in the control group who did not participate in the program. While it's important for us to not only demonstrate the impacts of our intervention, it was also important for us to really bring our knowledge into the community and to engage others in the work that we're doing. This past February, we hosted our third annual Embodied Learning Summit at Duke. This is a day-long conference bringing together students, teachers, community members, and activists to start discussions on the relationship between yoga, mindfulness and movement work, and racial justice. We've hosted workshops ranging from transforming trauma to the practice of empathy to using mindfulness as resistance. And our goal for this day was to create a safe, non-confrontational space for the yoga, yoga community and members alike to start these conversations. As yoga and mindfulness really sweeps the nation, it's important that we make sure that the positive benefits of these practices are accessible. That means ensuring that students have the ability to these benefits, like improving their self-efficacy, increased focus and attention, greater physical and mental health overall. Yoga and mindfulness are, provide tangible, accessible tools for self-empowerment for students who all too often fall through the cracks of the educational system. I mean, what is more accessible than your breath? So I'd like you all to notice yourselves breathing in deeply and completely and out deeply and completely as we finish our presentation. Thank you. Thank you.